Hi everybody, how are you? This is Monique's Jewels. I'm coming with a haul video. I also wanted to let you know that from the last part one and part two video that we had just a couple days ago, I have everything bundled up um, in your files. So if anyone's interested in going ahead and purchasing, let me know. If not, we'll just bundle and keep things going for another couple videos until you, you know, you accrue enough stuff that it's time. Um, let me know if you want anything immediately. Just email me right here. There we go. Okay. So let's start. I have um, something I, I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I have a spotlight piece. This is a piece of jewelry for um, sale inexpensively for anyone that has purchased or is purchasing for today's video. Um, and it will be $3. It actually is a Charming Charlie. It has just the tiniest bit of wear. I didn't have much wear at all. Um, what I did was I had this Darling Owl pendant and I put it on it. This is super long, isn't that cute? So anyone that's purchased anything in the last video, first person that asked for it will get it for $3. And I'll do this with every video as long as I remember. Okay, next I have a new jewelry box to show. And it is the Wizard of Oz. Sorry about the squeak. And it is actually a music box. Isn't that sweet? I just love it. Okay, what I've got today are some mark pieces. And um, let me pull them out of here. And I hope everyone's doing great. This is Saturday morning. Um, I thought I'd quickly do this before I get um, have to go get a pickup, grocery pickup. Um, I thought it'd be nice to um, go ahead and start this. Most of these are marked. There are a few that aren't, but they're all vintage, which is like my favorite. You know, I just love the vintage named jewelry. I like couture, couture jewelry. I love rhinestones. I love semi-precious stones. Um... I love like anything thing that is sterling silver. I do love gold jewelry, don't get me wrong. It's just um, price-wise that's hard to do. You know, when you're trying to keep a roof over your head, you can't live in your bracelet. Okay, we're getting down there. I had quite a few. Th I had more than what I thought. There's that. Um, I have to test that. Maybe I'll test it with you guys. I don't think I've tested it. Um, where is this one? I'll set that there. Sure it's got everything. Put that over here. There we go. My grandson is doing fine. He's eating. That's all he does is eat and sleep, eat and sleep. He is just a doll. He's not in any way, shape, or form a handful. He's just perfect. Very precious. As soon as his mom gives me permission, I might be able to show you a picture. OK. 
Right. Yes. Both match. Okay, I'll just set this over here. I do have a couple bracelets that are marked also, and I'll set these here. And as we go through these, I'll just move them over. Okay, the first one I have is a beautiful, it's supposed to be pewter um, ornament. It is just gorgeous. It's seagull pewter. Isn't that beautiful? It's not super heavy. It's perfect on both sides. This I think you could wear on your on a um, really nice, like a chain, like a rope chain. Like I said, it's not very heavy. I just love this. This is seagull pewter. And um, I'm up at 12 on this. I do have the dogs back here with me, so I'm so sorry if they start fighting. They've both got bones, but they kind of want each other's bone. Oh, okay. So next we have a clarinet, a double, like an oboe. And it has all of these on here. And this is like copper. We have the mask, the happy and the sad. We have a banjo. You have all kinds of stuff. Violin, oboe. So this would be perfect for a mother or grandmother of a band student. Um, this is not marked, but it's got a really nice different looking clasp on it. See how it goes like that? So I'm going to put eight on this just because it's very vintage. It's very nice. Okay. And everything I'm showing you has all its stuff. Like all its rhinestones, all its little pearls, whatever it is that it has. It's not missing anything. Okay, next we have this, which is very popular. It is the fan. I do did have a couple of... Um, gold necklaces but i'm you know i'm not sure what i did with them there's that look at that design and i think i might have one but i'm putting tin on this it's just beautiful let's see if i can open it all the way yeah there we go Alrighty, that's the fan pendant. There is no maker mark on that one. Let's see if I've got one. I think I do have a like a gold filled or just a kind of an older piece. Now these are not marked, but these are in excellent condition. I'll show you the back. And these are like little tiny shells. And what I'll do is I'll clip these here so you can see them. There we go. There are those. Those pretty. And I'll put seven dollars on those. <laughs> Sound like a snake. Oh boy. Okay, these are Kenneth J. Lane, which I think I've showed these before. These are beautiful. These are the jewel tone. Um, and then the name is Inside. These are in excellent, excellent condition. And these are 13. Those are pretty. Yeah, those are really, really super nice. Gold tone. Very, very pretty. In great condition. Okay, I have another clip pair, but these are light. I wish they were pierced. These are so cool. These are Monet. These are um, 
kind of a door knocker, but I hammered. Come here. Like a hammered door knocker. Come on, guy. Okay, get that on there. There are these. Aren't those? Those are fabulous. And of course, the Monet on the back. I'm going to put 12 on these. Yeah, I really, really like them. Those are just in excellent condition also. Okay, next we have... Well, I do... These are really pretty. These are the Whiting and Davis. Let's see here. Get them on here. I thought I'd do this shorter video. I have another five pound box. I have some more stone, some more precious stone. I've got a pearl lot. I've got a... Um, Pearl, um, probably a craft lot. I've got all kinds of stuff. Look at these. Look at the filigree on those. And these are the Whiting and Davis. Almost like a hemat hematite stone there, but not, I don't think that's what that is, but these are in excellent condition. So these are 12. That's nice. Okay, let's show you a, this is just um, probably used, I'm thinking as a ornament or something that hangs on the door or, but I, this is beautiful. This is cl like cloisonne. And I was thinking somebody might really enjoy this the green and the blue and like I said the um, it's more ornamental than anything um, the tassel needs to be like looked at and worked on a little bit but I'm up at six on this it's just beautiful and then the string I'll set it over here okay next I have a piece that's really, really cool. Um, it is by, let's see, and I might have to look this up. We'll look it up together. It's Bear San Francisco, B-A-E-R. And I'll show you the pendant. And here is the Kind of a golden gunmetal, and this is like a just kind of a wrapped pendant. Um, I will look it up on my phone real quick. B A E R. I can't remember her first name. Um, let's see here. Let's do bear. With pendant. Okay. It is. It's Marjorie Bear, San Francisco, vintage, hammered. She does a lot of the mixed metals, which is exactly what this is. Um, she has quite a few on here. They're anywhere between right about 20 and 30. Um, I'm looking, trying to find one that's close. Yeah, these are like 29. Um, 
if anybody's interested in this one, let me show you some pictures. Like this is kind of similar here. Marjorie Bear. And they are vintage. Um, that does have a little stone in it too. I was just seeing on the first page or two, maybe there was another one super similar, but I don't see one. Um, let's go 12 on that. I th don't think that's enough, but that's okay. Um, yeah, because this is, it's a mesh. This is like the snake. Um, here's a textile engraved stone hollow mesh necklace. And it's like 30. Um, there's 24. Okay. So let's just do 12 on her. She's very, very interesting. I love the little dangle that she's got here. And then it's very hard to see. There we go. See the little dangle? Isn't that cute? Okay. So we'll do 12 on that. That's a really pretty gold tone gunmetal. Very good condition. And then the pendant back, and then here's the front. Mixed metal. Heaven. That's lovely. Okay. I want to make sure you guys can see everything really well. And these are Joan Rivers. Okay. These are so cool. These are just darling. These are Joan Rivers. They are absolutely in fabulous condition. They are the Golden Turtles with the little dome. And it is a kind of an amberish red color, this glass part here. These are fabulous. Let me see here. I did comps on these, um, but not those. I had a bunch of Joan Rivers um, stuff. We'll do turtle earring. Okay. There they are right there. This is an Etsy. Well, oh, there they are. Okay, let's read it. It says, Turtle Vintage Clip On Earrings Faux Tortoise Shell. <clears throat> Excuse me, Gold Tone Figural Intricate Statement Earrings. Okay, the price on this is $33. Um, i will show you. there so we'll do 15 on these if anyone is interested and I think there you can see yeah you can see pretty well these are gorgeous it's kind of a tortoise color you know kind of the brownish red okay these are Yes, these are marked. Let's see. Well, they were. Oh, I thought they were. 
But anyway, these are gorgeous too. These are rhinestone. And all the rhinestones are actually there. I thought these were Whiting and Davis, but I don't see a mark. Which is kind of strange. Um, let me look again. Nope, I don't see a mark. Okay, so these are kind of a grayish green stone. I'm gonna check them over. Make sure we've got all the stones on there. Yes. These are prong set rhinestones. These are very, very pretty. Now I'm gonna put eight on these. These are not marked, but they are excellent condition. I love to see these older pieces look so nice. Okay, these are Rivoli. They're very, very sweet. They need a bath. I'll have to pull out my wet wipes. I use the sensitive kind so that um, I don't mess up anything. That is where the little cotton pad, the little pad was right there. So that's the back. Very good condition. Here are these. Okay, aren't those neat? The point. Get the point. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, lack of sleep will make you real silly. There's that. Let's put seven on those. No, let's put six on these. I like these. They're a little, they're, they're nice and weighty, but not too heavy. Those are pretty. Okay, how many more earrings do we have? Let's do a couple here. These are, these are not marked, or are they? Let me check. I don't see a mark. Hmm. Huh. These are very pretty. These are the AB rhinestones. Very, very pretty. Aren't those gorgeous? And you know, a lot of times I'll see stuff like this and they're in great condition and I don't want to take them apart. But it's like, man, those would be some really good stones, but they're all there. So you wouldn't want to take any of these off. These are in good condition. I'm gonna put $7 on these. in fabulous condition. They're nice and snappy too. Okay, these screw backs, I'm not gonna put them on the card. I'm gonna just hold them here. I do have a rhinestone that is just a tiny bit deader than the other, but these are fabulous rhinestones. The baguette rhinestones especially are gorgeous. There is no maker mark on these. But these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Look at that. My goodness. Look at that bling bling. So I'm up at 12 on these. These are very vintage. Very nice. Someone took really good care of these. Okay. I love those. Okay. Next, we have a beautiful pair. Oh, these are gorgeous. I don't think these are marked either. I'm very surprised. These came with a vintage set. 
that I purchased a little while back. These are wonderful, and these actually, let's see, clip upwards. Yes. Wow. These stones are so gorgeous. I'll see sometimes stones I think are so pretty, and then I wonder if they're Eisenberg or... Um, there was another set that my mother used to always purchase besides the Eisenberg that were so pretty. Look at that. It's like got a cocktail bluish. These are so nice and the backs are perfect. So I'm going to put 10 on these. Just lovely. Set this over to the side. Okay, next we have copper. These are not marked, but the copper is in excellent condition. Might need a little wipe off, but these are so cool. These are pierced, and they are just fabulous. I could just see somebody wearing this with a a beautiful little blue jean jacket and a pretty gold colored t-shirt or a white t-shirt with gold writing. And the hammered look is fabulous on these. So these are 12. Put those there. Oh, here's another pair that I really like. These look like Givenchy but they're not. Or Versace or something like that. But these are just beautiful. You've got almost like the Jelly Belly. But they've got kind of the Greek lettering around it. I love them. Perfect backs. None of these have any corrosion or crud or anything. So these are 10. They'd be a lot more if they were marked, but these are just fabulous. Okay, here are those two. And I think I have one more pair of earrings that I see. No, I could have sworn these were marked, <laughs> but they're not. Wow, okay, it's okay. These are silver and gold tone. They're almost like in an X shape. Let me show you the backs. The backs are in excellent condition. Look at the front. Aren't those gorgeous? You've got the gold tone and then the silver tone there. Just beautiful. About the size of a, almost two inches probably. Let's see. No, about an inch and a quarter and about an inch across. Very, very pretty. Okay, let's put eight on those. Those are nice. Okay, I'm just about done here. I have a Whiting and Davis. It has some wear to it, but it's beautiful and dainty, and it has the, um, it's got the um, safety chain. Let's see where it says it. Open it up. Oh, it's right in here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but their little maker mark cartouche, whatever you want to call it, is right in there. And um, like I said, there is some wear on it, but it's really fabulous. Not pretty. And I'm 
going to put 12 on this. It's just beautiful. Put it on so you can see it. Not pretty. Very nice. Very easy to get on and off. Very, very nice. It is. It's an oval. And it is. Two and a half crossed. Wonderful. Okay, next we have, this is beautiful. That's like that satin. It's like that satin silver. This one is something here. Oh, there it is. This one is oh, crown trafari. Right there. This one's gorgeous. Put it right there. Isn't that neat? Okay, so I'll put seven dollars on this. This is so pretty. That was the crown trafari. Next we have another Whiting and Davis. And there's its maker mark right there. And it's a clamper. And it's beautiful. Isn't that nice? So I'm going to put 15 on that one. Next we have two um, Fornash. Um, I've looked these up a couple times. These go for about 20 plus a piece. So I'm going to put $10 on each. Now, these are gorgeous. If nobody buys them, I'll keep them. But, yeah, these are super nice. The beautiful cobalt blue, almost a navy blue, and the white with the gold. So those are $10 a piece. Beautiful. And these are oval. And they are right at two and a half. Again, both of them, same size. Okay, next we have a fashion statement ring. And it is like a frosted, faceted silver tone ring. There is no wear on this. It's very, very pretty. It is a size that looks like a size eight and a half. Yep. So eight and a half. It's just it's like a smoky quartz look. Just beautiful. So I'm gonna put ten on that. This one is fun. This is a fun ring. You can definitely make it bigger. It is a silver tone with plastic. Just right for the upcoming St. Patty's Day. <laughs> or any time, really. And I'm going to put five on that. And it is sized at... What is that? About six and a half, but it can go bigger. Just really, really cute. Just a little fashion ring. This one is just a bit heavier. And you cannot make it bigger. Okay, these last rings are fabulous. These, all of these are Whiting and Davis. And, let's see. Yes, they all say Whiting and Davis right in the center part of the bale of the ring. Okay, this first one, 
and these are, you can size these up and down a little. They're both, bring it out here, make it smaller. I think this is as big as it's going to get. Okay. So what we've got here is, this one here is like a um, cameo in the black. It's probably some kind of a resin. Excellent condition. And I'm going to put the same price on all of these. This one is fabulous, and I'll give you the sizes here in a few minutes. This one also has that resin. I'll keep doing this so you guys can see. She has... She is right facing and just has kind of a continental hairdo this one is a little more you know for all i know these could be onyx but these are gorgeous these are all whiting and davis okay this one as you can see same thing you can make it smaller i think they're all up as high as they'll go so this is that one. Oh my goodness, aren't these pretty? Very, very old. Very vintage. It feels like, um, doesn't feel like plastic. It feels like uh, acrylic. It doesn't have that plasticky. It's not a stone though, it's not cold. So there's the third one. This fourth one is very pretty too. These all have a little bit of wear, a little bit of fading, but they're still wearable. Very, very nice. Isn't that pretty? This is a gold tone. This has a light gold tone. These are silver tone. And then this one's my favorite. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I'll size them here in just a minute. These are all $15 a piece. So this first one, so if anyone's interested, you can go off the sizing timestamp if you'd like, so it won't get confusing. Okay, this one is a seven and a half. Just beautiful. This one with the face, the cameo, is about a seven and a quarter. I wish I could get you to see the face at all. Let's see. I wonder if that'll help. Yeah, it does a little bit. Yeah, she's cool. Okay. And like I said, she's about a seven and a quarter. It's beautiful. That's the black cameo. The next one is kind of the, um, looks almost like a fern. This one is right at an eight and a half. It's just beautiful. All of them are marked. Wedding in Davis. This one. This one is right at a seven. And I've got it down to about seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. Isn't that pretty? And then this beauty. I think I've got it down to seven and a quarter. And like I said, these stones aren't real. They're kind of a resiny plastic. But 
They are just the neatest things. Okay. So I've got all those sized and priced. I hope you enjoy this. I also, before I get off of here, I'd like to show my Cloisonne bracelets one more time. Um, it's a set of seven plus an extra here. This extra white one is in excellent condition. These are all just gorgeous. None of these have any wear. None of them. There's yellow, black, pink, white, light blue, dark blue, and red. These are in absolutely excellent condition. The whole set is 50. Plus, so you'd get eight total. So you're only paying about six, seven dollars a piece. So if anybody's interested, let me know. And I guarantee that they are not, none of them have anywhere. They're just in excellent condition. Look at that beautiful blue. Okay, we are at 40 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. We did get to see everything, which is great. Put these up. Um, don't forget about the owl at the first of the video. If you purchase anything today, that owl is available for $3. Um, if you purchase something from the last video, it's also available for $3. Um, I'll be doing this probably once, um, in the beginning of every video, like this here, I'll have this for the next video. This will be on sale. Isn't that pretty? And then I've got a copper necklace also that I'll probably use on sale to sell. I don't think they're going to be $3, but they'll be a really nice price. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to be a subscriber. We um, have a lot of fun. We talk to each other quite a bit. We email back and forth. Um, we laugh together. We cry together. Um, hopefully... Very soon I'll be going live again. Um, you know, we share things with each other. It's a very fun channel. Um, probably in the next three or four days, I'm going to do a um, video on my favorite jewelry seller, YouTube girls, gals. And um, I'll kind of ramble off everybody's name that I love to watch. And give them a little shout out on my channel. And I'll also put their link to their videos on my in my descriptions. And um, we'll just go from there. That'll be a fun thing to do. I've had other people shout out for me. And I thought it was so nice. Um, a lot of times people just, you get so busy doing this. Sometimes you can't. Um, go to their channel and purchase things and say hello because you're just too wound up with your family and selling. So I think that would be a fun thing to do. And especially if I can go live, I just can't wait. So our next video is going to be one of five things. It's going to be the rest, another five pound shop goodwill, just costume jewelry. Um, Stone, semi-precious stone jewelry. Um, what is this? Um, this is... Oh, yeah. I've got a little group of jewelry that I purchased from Age Goodness. That's another one. Um, then I have a huge lot of pearl jewelry. And then I have a lot of costume pearl jewelry that I will be selling for like a dollar or two dollars each. Um, I have another bag of about 15 pounds of craft. 
then I also have um, some things that I might put together, like 10 pieces for $20 and bag those up and sell those. So I have quite a few things that I can be doing. All right, girls and guys, you have a wonderful weekend. And I'm going to get off here, get this uploaded, and we will talk to you all soon. Um, thank you to my subscribers. We're still growing, and it's very exciting. So we will talk to you probably tomorrow is what I'm thinking. All right, you guys, stay safe, stay well, keep wearing your mask. So let me know what you'd like to see, semi-precious stones, sterling, uh, costume jewelry, pearls, um, and just a few miscellaneous. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.